Hey guys, how's it going? Sleeping Hollow here. Today we're in Blender. Um, I want to start doing some Blender add-on reviews because I've been, you know, I do a lot of modeling and stuff. You've probably seen some of my work on my YouTube channel. If not, it's what I do and I hope to post some more videos soon. But until then, I want to start doing some add-on reviews, which is what we're doing now. We're going to be looking into Cloth Weaver, so making clothing for people, for characters in Blender. So with all that being said, let's just quickly jump into it. So right here on the left, you can see everything that comes with this. There is actually a lot to go over. <laughs> but if we look over here, we have, you know, the core tab, we have physics, and we have rigging. So this is basically what you're going to be using and going through to set up your whole thing. So first, we can click on the our mesh that we're going to be using on physics, and then hit add collision to character, which, you know, it's just if you go to the physics tab, it's just adding collision, you know just an extra button so you don't have to like fiddle through everything and look for it and now we can go back to core and just look at basically everything uh, down here you'll see it actually comes with some basic setups so you can actually look through these and see like kind of how they were made so let's just go ahead and look at one let's look at the t-shirt so we're gonna go ahead and create a t-shirt and there we go now we can bring it up and we can quickly just kind of look at how it's made so you can see they have these lines if you've ever used or seen uh the program marvelous designer obviously seeing these out here kind of it's the same idea basically um and there's three as you can see on the left there's uh vertex groups that kind of make this whole thing work so if we go to pans and hit select you can see it's basically the outline of what goes around the neck um, I believe from what I've seen from what I've read that the pins are just kind of, you know, the parts that are going to be holding it up. You know, that's the best way I can explain it. Um, from there, we're going to look at evens, hit select, and evens and those are basically the same thing. You can see they're the edges that are kind of, you know, these are the even edges selected around. And then the odds are kind of the same thing, but just the opposite ones, every other one, basically. And this is one of the things I hope that with future updates they'll fix is that you actually have to go through and manually add these so you're going to want to select all the evens and then you know assign it and then select all the odds assign it um it's 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 you know it's not hard but it is a process and i hope they can kind of like as time goes you'll be able to just pick all of them and then just run you know click a button and it'll automatically determine and assign each one as it should be because as it stands now, you know, I feel like that's one of the things that's kind of holding it back. It's just a lot of work. It's, it's just, I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. I mean, if they can't find a way about it, that's fine. But I really hope they can. Um, so, yeah, we're going to quickly, let's just go ahead and simulate this real fast before we make our own just to show you what this does. So, with all that being said, let's we're first going to go ahead and put on the clothing. As you can see, boom. I throw them all together and there's some weird stuff happening, actually. That's, <laughs> that's kind of weird, but... Uh, now we can kind of scroll through the timeline, look for like the point we actually like. So let's say right there, click it again, hit sew clothing. And hey, that actually came out pretty good, that first try. Now you can see it's, it's this is supposed to be a t-shirt, it's kind of too long. But this is just to sh quickly show you the main idea of it. So, you know, it worked out. It worked pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead, oops, hit stop. Um, and... Uh, quick side note, obviously from here you're going to be like, oh, what if there is an error? I'm going to have to go back. You actually don't have to. You can delete this one and click reveal under backups and it'll give you the backup. It, it automatically saves a backup. Uh, basically what it does is just creates a duplicate and just hides it so you can't see it. But it does create a backup. So let's go ahead and just let's see if we can make this an actual t-shirt. So let's go ahead and scale it up. So, you know, it's, it has to do a lot with fiddling around. So let's say, how's that for a t-shirt? So we're the same process. So we're going to put it on. Look for the part. And you can see that's probably going to have some, it's probably going to go, oh no. Okay, well, yeah, it kind of is. Um, so, you know, you can see it's a lot of fiddling. So what you can do is find the part you like. Uh, hit edit. And then you can see it kind of saves it. And then from there, you know, you can just kind of mess with what you have to do. Like you can see right here, uh, that's no good. So we're going to go ahead and quickly adjust this. Let's go ahead and zoom in just so we do. Yeah. So you can see, boom, 
We have our t-shirt. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty fast, pretty easy. And it also has its own custom shader, so you don't have to worry about that. So if we go, let's go to the node editor, and here we go. As you can see, yeah, it's on shader, so you can mess around with this afterwards and figure out what you want to use. Um, so yeah, so now with that being done, let's go ahead and give her a skirt. How about that? How about that? Uh, <laughs> so to get started with this, we're just going to go ahead and go orthographic view, a view from the front, and go right here on the left, uh, create base plane. So you can see it just created a plane. It is mirrored, so anything you do on one side will do it to the other just to keep it even and this will actually help you with your whole even nothing because obviously you just have to do it on one side you don't have to do it on both so that's nice so with that let's go ahead and go to edit mode we're gonna move this to the front and okay let's see so we're gonna want to move these up a bit let's say right there uh let's see we can probably bring this in just a bit keep that one as it is so we're going to make a basic skirt, you know, this is just going to show you the whole process of it. So now let's subdivide it. Let's do it five times just to give it a nice, even amount. Because obviously when the when we run the simulation, you know, all the there has to be enough geometry for it to deform to go into place. So that looks pretty good. So now we can just copy this, move it to the back, use control N to flip the normals. So we want to make sure normals are always pointing away from the body. And now here is the fun part. We're going to want to select both edges for this. We're going to want to bridge edge loops. And then we're going to want to delete only the faces. So there we go. We're left with those, which is exactly what we want. So now we're going to select the ones up here, just like that. And then we're going to want to assign the pins to this because that's where the pinning is going to take process. It's going to be up top. So we're going to assign that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the whole even nothing, which is the part I was saying, like, if you think about, like, doing more complex clothing, this is the process that's going to kind of slow you down. So we're going to make sure we have every other one for the odds. Assign those. Do the evens. And assign those. And like I said, it's, it's going to automatically do it for the other side, so we don't have to worry about that. And now we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and put on clothing. And you can see it's kind of a bit too wide, so we can fix that. But we just want to see the whole process here as it is. So, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and reveal. And we actually, let's get rid of that one because we don't need it anymore. Let's shrink this down a bit. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's bring it up a bit. It's going to go into the shirt, but, you know, we're just, I'm just showing you the process of making it. So, now, how about that? All right, so let's figure out where we want it. Right there looks pretty good. So we sew clothing. And there we go. We have a skirt. So let's go ahead and pause this. So yeah, you can see it's it's pretty much that easy. Let me actually just hide this so we can just look at the skirt itself. Uh, but you see it is kind of having this weird thing out here because, of course, this is just one big geometry. So like I said, you will have to do some work here. So we can probably add another one right here. Let's go ahead and fill that one. But obviously what this means is now our odds and evens are kind of messed up. So if we select them, we're going to have to remove, select, remove, and now do the same thing. Odds. No, oh, sorry. Odds. We have the odds selected. Assign. Evens. Assign. Okay. Let's try it again. Put on clothing. Let's find where we best like it, right there. And sew clothing. Wow, don't, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, why is there two? Let's just, okay, let's pop back real quickly. Okay, bring it up. Should be, let's say up here. Now let's put on the clothing. And so. Move that one. Now you can see it is working a bit better, but still has that kind of 
it's still kind of loose around but you know you can always just go in there afterwards and kind of just try to fix it up so let's actually enable that you know if you have any problems you can always just go in there afterwards uh, this yeah this isn't no marvelous designer you will have to go in and do some work tidying it up a bit but after you're done with all that let me get rid of that one you know oh, what happened there oh there we go yeah. simulation you know but after all that said done you know you can see boom you got your skirt so yeah that's pretty much the whole process of how it's done like I said there's a bunch of different ones there's a collared shirt a dress long a hoodie so you can look into them and really see how each one's done uh, so that's pretty much gonna do it let me just quickly show you what a shirt I designed myself or I guess it's, it's more of a dress um, right here so let me actually just hide the bones right here so you can see this shirt was a little more complex or dress as you can see I had these holes out here that I had to make myself you know with the same kind of process there was no pinning here but you know with the front shirt and the back shirt I made sure to leave round shape I guess you can say I'm not sure if I still have the cloth I actually used for this let me check really quickly uh, no it's it's totally gone uh, but yeah you can see it was pretty easy to make let me just go ahead and here you can see how it's done so yeah that's you know this is kind of the extent of what I was able to do with it I haven't really gone too much into it like I said I still want I hope they can develop more and make it a little easier to for the whole odd and even process I hope they can just get rid of that and I want to look into like you know sewing multiple pieces together at the same time because obviously if you want to have like the the bottom of the shirt you know have different color or something like that it is doable but you know like that whole process of the odds and evens I can't stress will just make that whole thing a whole lot worse you know because you're just adding more of them you have to go into it add more and then you know uh, assign them each and every time it's just obviously you can tell that's that's my main gripe with this add-on but after all that said and done I do believe it's a good add-on it is really kind of odd though because it isn't just like a here it costs this much that's what it is it is a paid subscription add-on and with the paid subscription you know you get you get an update every month or so uh, there's different pricings because uh, they do have a, a market also where people will be able to design their own clothing, put it on the market, and sell it. And with that, you will have to pay a little more a month or so. Um, if you want the actual, you know, the facts, I'll leave a link in the description to the add-ons website and as well as the creator's YouTube channel. So you can really check it out and go into it. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do recommend checking out this add-on. Like I said, link's in the description. Um, if you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I will be doing more. The next one next video is going to be looking into this bone setup which is the auto rig pro <laughs> there it is auto rig pro and i'll show you what i think about this add-on so you can see obviously i've used it for this so you know i'm not that great of an animator so please don't judge me but you can see the the clothing really goes well with this it worked re really well so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next video peace